have these moments every day where I look around this warehouse and I think, oh my gosh, we were in my guest bedroom three years ago. And I can actually look around at my teammates and they go, I remember the guest bedroom. I remember shipping things out of your dining room and now we're all still here together, excited about what we've achieved. I've heard entrepreneurship can be lonely and I certainly understand that sentiment, but I do feel like a lot of us have been able to grow it together. And that's really cool. Torrance Hart. I'm the founder of Teak and Twine, a corporate gift box company based right outside of Washington, D.C. in Springfield, Virginia. I grew up in a Navy household. My mom and dad were both career Navy officers. I did Air Force ROTC in college at Georgetown here in the D.C. area and then spent eight years in the Air Force working as a finance officer and then an intel officer. I was the classic entrepreneur kid. Lemonade stand growing up. I was always interested in running a business and starting my own business. About a year before getting out, I started thinking about what I would do after. And my husband was also still Air Force. He was a pilot. He had six more years on his commitment. And so I needed to think of something that I could do while being a military spouse. I needed something that was more flexible. So I decided to start my own business, learn along the way, and basically just try to figure it out. One small detail, I had no idea what business I should start. And I thought of a million terrible ideas. And ultimately I landed on this idea of gift boxes. I had just planned my own wedding and I realized that there was this niche in the wedding industry, something that couples were doing, which was to create wedding welcome gifts to welcome their out-of-town guests. At that time, in 2014, there was no company that was doing this. And so I launched in 2015, while I was still active duty, Teak and Twine, which at the time in my head was this wedding welcome gifting company. And then an interesting thing happened. A bride who had received one of our gifts just happened to work for a really large software company and wanted to know if we could make 150 holiday gifts for her team for Christmas. 150 was by far the biggest order ever. The project was so creative and interesting. They asked for some really cool branding components. And over the past three years, we've made this pivot as a company to focus exclusively on large scale corporate gifting. All of our projects that we put together are unique, right? All of them are in a box, but each one of them we get to curate based on what we're putting together. In one box, there are four or five six different products, each of which comes from a small business, a women-owned business, a black-owned business, a veteran-owned business. We get to support all of those companies. So many of our vendors have grown significantly, but it's so satisfying to think that we played a small part in that growth. One of our biggest struggles right now is the supply chain issues that everyone's been reading about, and we've had to be super flexible and basically stay agile in order to make sure that we can find alternatives because this is a logistics and a shipping company almost above everything. Really being able to pull the operational side and the shipping side together. Years like this with the challenges of getting the products you need in time, shipping delays, supply chain issues. You know, these are things that we've been training for, <laughs> essentially, and that we're ready for. The second challenge is the financial piece of running a business where you need to increase your inventory by 20X in the month of September. 
before any of it is purchased. And anyone who runs a product-based business, an e-commerce business, completely understands this crazy inventory push that goes on at the end of summer. You can't grow your business without access to capital. And whether that's by bootstrapping your business and cash flowing it, or by having uh, access to capital when you're first starting out, having a financial partner that understands our business, and specifically a small business, is so valuable. Because we just wanna focus on supporting vendors, running our business, supporting our customers, creating the gifts that they need. And we don't want to have to spend time, I don't want to have to spend time thinking about coming up with a capital to do that. I've hired the best people in the entire universe, made up of women, veterans, military spouses. They're so talented. They're so hardworking. They're so brilliant. They think of a million ideas that I would never think of and they surprise me every single day with all of the different things that they do, the ideas that they have. It's grown so far beyond my capabilities and that's because of the people you see behind me.